Namaste po kayo. Today is our fifth day of our daily devotions at we're still on our 20th week. Again, nakamangha kung paano five months na tayo nagsasama-sama every day for our daily devotions and um, ating weekly uh, was, um, Sunday worship. So ngayon pong day five, we'll be looking at a devotional written by Brian David from the TMAI headquarters sa Los Angeles, California. And he will be reflecting on 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. And the title of today's devotion is Submission as a Way of Life. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. You younger men likewise, be subject to your elders. And all of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another. For God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Sabi po ni Brian David, In America today, Submission to authority is seen as naive, weak, and cowardly. Sadly, the same negative view has made its way into the American church, where the concept of submission to church leaders is rejected by many as antiquated, as antiquated and undemocratic. Again, tingin ko hindi lang sa American church yan. I think that is the culture of most churches, if not all, na marami ang hindi nag-submit sa um, elders or sa, sa authority sa church. Peter reminds us, however, that beginning with younger people, we are all to submit to our church leaders. Submission is not only biblical, it is a blessing both for you and for your leaders. And ang ganda nun, kasi if you would look at Hebrews 13 verse 17, um, telling us to be submissive to our uh, authorities or our elders so that yung kailang pagilingkod ay hindi burdensome. It will be a joy for them. Sabi ng ganon dito, uh, submission is not only biblical but it's also a blessing sa antarino, sa elders and everyone else in, in the church. But submission to authority is more than just a mandate for life in the church. The Bible is clear that unless you're being told to sin, Subjecting yourself to God, ordained authority should be a norm in all of life. Magandang sinabi rito. Unless you are being prompted, you are being commanded, you are being swayed to sin. According to scripture, then, we ought to be um, submissive to um, church leaders as a way of life. Tandaan po ninyo, malaking, ano po yan, malaking burden po yun sa mga um, elders and mga leaders ng simbahan na magsusulit sa mga um, bawat taong ipinagkatiwala sa amin. Right? So, malaking bagay po yun. Nakakatakot po yun. And, and, and if we would submit to authorities, and when you say submission, mga kapatid, it's submission not to the elders but to the God-ordained authority that the Lord has instituted in the church. And submission does not always necessarily mean you agree. It's we agree in the Lord, in the Lord. Babalik na naman po tayo dun sa Philippians. Agree in the Lord. Uh, there are two sides uh, of an argument, sabi natin nung, when we were discussing about uh, Philippians. And in an argument, you take sides. Which sides? Not the other person's side, not the other person's side, but the Lord's side. And according to the Lord, and according to His Word, we ought to be submitting to God-ordained authority as a norm. Sabi niya, children are to submit to their parents. Ephesians 6, one, Slaves to their masters. 1 Peter 2.18 Citizens to their government. Wives to their husbands. And husbands to Christ, just as the church itself is subject to Christ, her Lord. As today's verse shows, submission to authority is inseparably linked to humility. And the extent that we are humble is the extent that we will receive God's grace. Maganda sinabi niya rito, the, the, yung, yung submission natin uh, to authority, to God-ordained authority, to what the Lord has instituted, uh, um, it is directly linked to humility. Why do you not submit? Because probably you think that you're better. I mean, hindi na hindi naman po namin sinasabi mas magaling kami, right? Um, kasi hindi yun ang case. 
mean, eh, hindi na pagali yun ito. Eh. Eh, it's um, submission, adherence, and obedience to God's call. Sa amin to shepherd you, sa inyo to ob- uh, um, submit and obey the leaders, and not unless we're teaching you to sin, not unless we're t- telling you to defy Christ. We ought to be submitting to the God-ordained leaders. Kasi sabi niya rito, kung gaano ang extent ng, ng humility natin is ganoon din ang pagkapala sa atin ng Panginoong Diyos. Right? The, the, the extent that we are humble is the extent that we will receive God's grace. The concept is simple. If we oppose our, our authorities, that God will oppose us. If on the other hand, we humble ourselves in subjection to our leaders, God will give us grace and exalt us. Then, may sinabi siya sa bandang huli, Dear believer, I am certain that you do not want God's almighty hand opposing you today. Do you want that? I mean, hindi nang galing sa akin yun. We're just reading the devotion by the Brian David. And Brian David is just expounding for us biblical truth. <clears throat> Sabi niya, Dear believer, I am certain that you do not want God's almighty hand opposing you today. So humble yourself. Remind yourself of God's call to submission. Subject yourself to your authorities in church, government, work, and family. And see God's grace exalt you at the proper time. Right? So, submission to authorities uh, is very comprehensive. It talks about submission to the government, submission to um, the authorities in the church, submission to uh, our workplace, submission to our family. And our submission to these authorities, God-ordained authorities, if we believe that God is sovereign, He has placed these people over you to um, oversee you, to protect you, to um, help you, unless they are um, asking you or swaying you to sin against Scripture, then we ought to be... um, Subjecting ourselves and be submissive to God ordained authority. Para saan? So that in God's proper time, God will exalt you as we humble ourselves. Right? So, maganda sa sinabi niya rito is yung ang ating submission is directly linked to our humility. And our humility is directly linked with, uh, to the extent of how God would be gracious to us and bless us. Right? Sabi niya, if we, God is opposed to the proud, but He exalts the humble. Right? So, what a, a wonderful way to be reminded of these truths. And, um, nagapasalamat po ako na I can uh, discuss this with you. And, um, um, I'm not bashful at all in saying these and in discussing these things with you kasi nasa scripture po yan nasa Biblia po na we should be submitting ourselves to God ordained authorities right so and um, yeah it's a it's not just a biblical mandate but it's a blessing for us sabi ng writer as we um, submit ourselves to one another in our God ordained uh, um, um, roles as we submit to the Lord who is the head of the church. Sige po, maraming salamat po muli sa inyong pagsama sa akin uh, on our fifth day. So, um, let's come to the Lord in prayer. We have so much uh, to thank the Lord for. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for a wonderful um, reflection that you have given us. We praise you, Lord, for um, Brian um, David. Salamat po sa buhay niya. We pray that you would bless the men who wrote uh, the, this devotional, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a glimpse of uh, ministries all over the world and as well as their struggles and as, as well as their victories. We rejoice in them, Lord, and we share their burdens. We thank you as well, Lord, for how you have um, shown us from your word that it is indeed a blessing for us, not just a mandate, not just a um, God-ordained mandate for us to submit ourselves to authorities, especially in our context to the church leaders, Lord, but it's a blessing as well. 
Salamat na marami po Panginoon Diyos kung paanong kayo po ang tunay pong aming pinapapurihan as we agree in the Lord. As we agree in you, in your word, with your word. So Panginoon Diyos, talangin ko po na pagpalain niyo po ang iglesyang ito. We sincerely, I sincerely pray Lord for you to bless this church with unity. We pray that you would um, <clears throat> allow us to be um, let every thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ and that we would all um, look at scripture, look at the mandate and um, just embrace what is your prescribed um, uh, mandate para po sa inyo pong iglesia. We thank you Lord for how we can pray for our concerns. We, we know Lord that we can't mention every um, one of us but we know that you know that there are many of us who are not feeling well we pray that you would um, just be with us protect us O oh lord preserve us we pray that you would use the medications that we're taking the doctors that are seeing us so that we would be restored to full health we continue to pray that you would let us take this time um, as we are in this situation to be indeed lord pondering upon your word to be contemplating on eternity to be pointing people to you dalangin po namin panginoon dios na pagpalain niyo pong bawat pamilyang kristiyano and that um, in this situation that we're all in we would strive to spend more time with the family not just lord hindi lang po yung uh, katuwaan o biruan and those are indeed good lord and healthy but we pray that you would um, enable the fathers to indeed be taking charge in the spiritual uh, growth and health of their respective families. We pray for the children, Lord. Dalangin po namin na sana po tulungan nyo sila, tulungan nyo kami, mga magulang, na hindi po ma-contain at ma-confine, I mean, sa mga gadgets. But we rather, Lord, we pray that you would just um, allow us to have meaningful conversations with them uh, allow us lord to have conversation with them conversations with them regarding you and we pray lord for our elderly and the line po panginoon dios na patibayin niyo pa rin po kanilang mga katawan lalo tigit panginoon dios ang kanilang po mga pananampalataya sa inyo may you give them boldness as well as they can uh, impart to us uh, wisdom regarding um how we can trust you more in these trying times. We pray na sana po ang mga mag-asawa ay pa- palakasin niyo po ang kailang uh, pagsasama. And we know that um, the enemy would always um, target the family. So we pray na tulungan niyo po ang bawat pamilya na patuloy po mamuhay para sa inyo. We also pray and make mention, Lord, yung mga mahal namin sa buhay na nasa ibang bansa. Um, Mahirap na nga po mahiwalay sa kanila, lalo po pa po sa ganito mga pagkakataon. So we continue to pray for them. We pray for the frontliners in the church, more especially. Kaya po naman patuloy mag-ingat sa kanila. And uh, more than Lord, them doing their jobs as frontliners, Lord, be it in the medical field or the armed forces or, or the police. We pray that they would live out their faith and that they would shine forth for you. That they would be a source of hope and um May they um, point people to you. Salamat na maraming Panginoon Diyos kung paano kaya namin ilapit ang paungulila namin sa isa't isa. May you continue to grow in our hearts that burden to be together so that by the time that you would orchestrate things for us to be together, it would, it would be sweet, Lord. Salamat na maraming Panginoon Diyos sa inyo pong pagkapala sa amin and we pray that you bless the remaining hours of the day para po sa kapurihan ninyo. Maraming 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 salamat pong muli Panginoon Diyos sa inyo pong pag-ibig sa amin, sa inyo pong salita, sa inyo pong katotohanan. This is our prayer with much thanksgiving in Christ's most precious name. Amen and Amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow for our last um, day of this 20th week. Before I go pala, um, next week po, for our 21st week, the elders will be uh, handling the devotion. Para magbe-break po muna ako ng one week and so that they could share with you what's in their hearts. Para po um, um, 
sa kapurihan ng Panginoon Diyos. Right? So, God bless you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.